Hi, hi. This is Doc Mountain, and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. In our tutorial today, we're going to look at the past, past paper based problem, which was extracted from 2013 Paper 1 Science. So now the problem reads The figure below shows a circuit diagram. The current through the ammeter is, so we have this figure at the bottom here. The question now is, what's the current through that ammeter? Uh, so now there's something missing here. There's something missing here. Let's check out this. Voltage is missing. So the potential difference through that battery is actually 3 volts. Or across the battery is 3 volts. So now how do you determine the, the current surging through the circuit, the main current? So what you need to do is need to find the equivalent resistor for these two resistors. Now you need to realize that the resistors are arranged in parallel. So now how do you find the equivalent resistor of two resistors that are parallel to each other? You use the formula which is equal to the reciprocal of the sum of the individual resistors. So the reciprocal of the equivalent resistor is equal to, we will name this one as resistor 1, that one as resistor 2. So that's 1 over 3, 1 over 3. So now when we have fractions with a common denominator, what you need to do is you simply add the denominators and the numerator. So we have 1 over RE, which is equal to 1 plus 1 over 3 plus L. Uh, let's do what we do. We say the lowest common multiple is a 3. What we do is we simply pick the denominator, we write it there, then we add <coughs> the numerators. 3 into 3, that's 1, 1 times 1, that's 1. Then 3 into 3, 1, 1 times 1, 1. So what we're going to have is 1 over RE, which is equal to 2 over 3. We have two fractions that are separated by an equal sign. For you to get rid of those fractions, you have to cross multiply. 3 times 1, that's a 3. RE times 2, that is 2 RE. Our interest is to determine the value of the equivalent resistance. So we divide both, both sides by 2. RE, therefore, is equal to 2 into 3, that's 1. Remember, 1. 2 into 1, 0. You add the decimal point and you add a 0. That would be 2 into 10, 1.5. So equivalent resistor has the resistance which is equal to 1.5 ohms. So when we resolve these two, we have, so we can then redraw this diagram and then we have something like this. Three volts, we have current there, and then here we have 1.5 ohms. So now, what's the current that is surging through the circuit? We need to determine current. What you need to do is you apply Ohm's law. So that will be current is equal to voltage over resistance. So current is equal to what's the voltage? That's a 3. And then the resistance is 1.5. So the question is, what's, uh, how many times does 1.5 divide, divide into 3? We can give it a shot by adding two 1.5s, that's a 10, one two, that's a three. So the current surging through the circuit is actually two ampers. There are two 1.5s that we have added to get 3.0. So the current through the circuit is actually two ampers. So we've answered the first question. Let's move on to the second question, which is big.
beautiful. So you're in control. You can actually pause the video, you copy the question there. You can as well rewind it to see what is going to happen. So now here they're saying an electrical appliance rated 5,000 watts. So what we have is power, which is equal to 5,000 watts. And then voltage is equal to 250 volts. The man used his appliance for 10 hours. The, the period of time within which it's used is equal to 10 hours. And then he pays 25 quarter for electrical energy used okay all right and what is the cost of an electrical energy for okay so one unit is equal to we don't know but for the entire energy used by the man he has paid 25 questions okay, so now what we need to do is we determine the total amount of the energy that he used but remember, energy is given by the equation, power times our time. Okay, so now time we have it here, power is there, but it isn't recorded in the correct units. We need to convert that one into kilowatts. So 1000 watts equates to one kilowatt. Here we have 5000 watts. We're going to write the like terms on one side so x times 1000 that would be 1000 x which is equal to 5000 so we divide both sides by 1000 so what we have is actually x is equal to 5 kilo watt so power is 5 kilowatt so we cannot plug in the values in this equation energy is equal to power that's 5 time is equal to 10 so energy is equal to 50 kilowatt how that's what we got so now how do you determine now the cost of the energy that has been used we say the cost of energy is equal to is equal to the energy uh, let me let me let me simplify this. We say one unit is equal to we don't know. We don't know the value of each unit of energy. And then the same this energy that was consumed or that was used was paid for by releasing a 25 quarter. So we're gonna say 50 kilowatt per hour is equal to kilowatt hour is equal to 25. So now we can multiply, we can now cross multiply. This 50 times x, then 25 times 1. 25 times 1, that's 25. And then 50 times x, that will be 50x. So now our interest is to know the value of x, which is the cost of 1 kilowatt hour of energy. So 50 there. 50 there, that and that out. So we're gonna have x, which is equal to 25 there is one, 25 there is two. So we're gonna have half, two into one, zero, we add the zero there. Two into 10, that's a five. So what we have actually determined is the value of one kilowatt hour of energy. So we can say one kilowatt hour of energy equates to 0 0.5. So that's our five in way. So that's how we have to go about this problem, people of higher science. Thank you so much for giving me your audience. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I urge you to go ahead so that you don't miss on any video that I will post in the nearby future. Stay blessed.